បាទព័ត៌មានទីពីលោកលេខាបាទព័ត៌មានទីពីជាព័ត៌មានអ្វីដែរសូមជម្រាបជូនដល់ព្រៃមិត្តជាភាសាខ្មែរសិនទេបា
National Bank of Cambodia reveals its plan uh, to build a new headquarters replacing the old buildings on the Narodam Boulevard. Based on the National Bank of Cambodia Facebook page, building in the structure of ancient Khmer Mountain Temple structure. The new building will replace the current facility uh, to renovate that have been sorry that have been renovated many times in 1954. So I would like to uh, read some uh, history, the main highlight the main point of the National Bank of Cambodia history. There are two uh, there are four uh, periods of time. The first one is from 1954 to 1964. The National Bank of Cambodia was established after Khmer gained independence from French protectorate. And National Bank of Cambodia had the ability to bring its currencies, we call real, to circulate in that time. The second period from 1975 to 1979. During this time the Pol Pot came to power, the Khmer rules came to power and the National Bank of Cambodia was completely closed and the banking system collapsed. The Khmer real note or currency was eliminated so no currency, no real currency circulate in that uh, black time. The, the third one is about us. Uh, the period is 1979 to 1993. The building has re-established and the National Bank of Cambodia was renamed that the People Banks of Cambodia to reissuing the Khmer Reels in circulation. In, in that time, His Excellency Chichen Tho, the senior and the governor of the the banks and is one of the was one of the initial founder of National Bank of Cambodia and come to rebuild the the banks and he's the one among the other scholar few survive from the killing field and the last one uh, sorry uh, in that time Cambodia economy uh, regime have changed also change from a centrally planned economy to free market economy. Yeah. And the last period from 1993 until now, I mean to present, to present. Uh, one uh, is about a banking system of uh, Cambodia has been threatened and uh, modernized. This made Cambodia become one of the strongest growing economy in the world. Shortly, I just would like to raise these four points yeah. to the audience, to non Khmer speakers especially. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So back to the project for uh, renovation. I would say renovation. Yeah, or they renovation. build the new completely form of the yeah. bank. Okay. As the as the sample of the Khmer temple for the old period. Yes. Yes. So, uh, do you know when it, this will be start and, and when it will be complete? Oh yeah, thank you, Mr. Gatong. This uh, plan was not uh, uh, issued by the National Bank of uh, Cambodia Authority yet. They just uh, revealed the plans, but uh, hopefully uh, the bank or or the the National Bank Company already uh, been uh, built its one uh, uh, facilities at uh, 2004 Boulevard along the roads, at the big campus. Yeah. And, and then here, the headquarters, uh, the, the bank, they will be built, but the debt or the projects not yet uh, released yeah. Yeah, to the publics. Yeah, I think that this for the National Bank of Cambodia, it's quite old. 
Yes, uh, it's, it's quite, quite old. old. Yeah, because exactly. It's, it's a long time built building. Yes, in 1954. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so now it's 2018. Yes, how many years? You long, can imagine that uh, the, <laughs> the structure of the uh, the national bank, you know, must be you know uh, deformed. Yeah. yeah, in some ways. In some ways. So that we have to uh, build a new yes. one, and. Uh, I hope that it will be bigger. Yes, yeah. bigger and more comfortable yes. than the previous one, high than girls. the old one. Yeah, yeah. and higher, especially possible. the form. You know, the form from the 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 temples, the old temple that represent our richest culture. Yes, yeah, of Cambodia, and we really much appreciate for the royal government of Cambodia, Cambodia. Yeah, in this consideration yeah. and initiated this idea for the new building for the National Bank of Cambodia. Yes, it reflects uh, over yeah. Korea's uh, times, eras yeah. of the Khmer Empire. What the that I remember Mr. Lina just mentioned is about the Black Era, yeah. the, genocide, the regime, genocide regime. From 1935 to 1939, 1939. Yeah. so 1939. everything is destroyed, yes. destroyed, yeah. including the National Bank of Cambodia close. Yes. Yeah. So uh, we don't have any currency to spend, or oh, we don't use currency yeah, yes. during that that uh, Khmer Rouge time. Yeah, the Khmer Rouge regime yeah. is just not allowed to, use, <laughs> yeah. to so circulate the currency. Yeah. No free market. Yes, no or free market. No central market. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, it was really tragedy yes. for our Cambodian people who died of starvation, yes. of the killing, killing by, yeah, by. by the Khmer Rouge. Prosecution, yes, yeah. and imprisonment, yeah, yes, yeah, so for the innocent Cambodian, and uh, we really regret for our past history. Yes. So until now, we try to develop our country, and we try to provide the lesson learned, mostly yeah. to the young people, the young generation, yeah, yes. young generation, and not, you know, to turn themselves back to the black past, <laughs> yeah, tragedy. So all together, we have to contribute to serving the nation yeah. and to the development of our country all together, especially political stability mm -hmm. and peace. Uh, yeah. yeah. And of course, that uh, we are now in the the banking system is really improved. Yes. Yeah. Improved. We have not just the bank. But yeah. also microfinance yes. uh, from the private sector that you know that facilitate all the business operations and the business uh, credit yes. for our people and for the small and medium enterprise owners as well, the young entrepreneurs, you know, that they can uh, benefit a lot from banking Bank system, system there yeah. in, in the country. Yeah. Modernized banking yeah. system. And uh, free market. Yeah, free yeah. market. We are now in the free market era, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not like the the old history. Yeah, that everything is really in the centralized. Yes, we call centralized. it centralized yes. banking system. That it it was very difficult yes. for yes. business operation or for investment and any kinds of uh, development in yeah. the country. Yeah, yeah. So, Mr. Lina, regarding this banking uh, and the the new uh, building to be com to be constructed, mm. do you think? Uh, what would benefit for mostly for the government of Cambodia and its people? Yeah, I think that the new building of the National Bank of Cambodia uh, will be constructed here. Will provide more of good facility, more safety, and uh, especially uh, the big spaces of the bank that uh, people will. Uh, trust and uh, the staff will have uh, a lot uh, rooms to work yeah. or the it's more uh, comfortable room comfortable yeah, right for the staff for the staff yeah. and for uh, the uh, any uh, improvement of the banking system yeah yeah um, by the minister or by the expert that they want to do more work that related to the currency or something like this. Yeah. yeah. Okay, thank you, Mrs. Lina. Now it's time for 
our reporting I couldn't use for the Vietnam TV online live show and you're watching now uh, the reporting from the Mr. from Mr. Lina on the two economy news that already finished and we are thank you very much for our the audience both national and international who always support our uh, TV hot news and TV live and also uh, continue to watching the other stories other news that are coming uh, more and more so uh, Mr. Lina will bring you guys a lot of more economic news next week. Next week, yeah, I think at so. the same time, and uh, we hope that we will, uh, you know, get more economic news and yes. good important uh, economic news and most from updated, right? yeah, most updated uh, uh, around the country and and also maybe in the regional. Yes, yeah. in the sphere of Cambodian uh, context and international uh, economic news that we bring to you to think and. Uh, to follow the situation of the Kamuri economy, something like this, yeah. right? So, Tiananmen TV Online open for all our investors, yes. for our dear uh, entrepreneurs, and as mostly from the private sector to have our colleagues from Tiananmen TV Online to interview or to feature any business or econ news from yes. uh, your uh, uh, companies, companies yeah? uh, and outlets, especially yeah. from your investment projects. So we are welcome, welcome for, right? uh, for all the private sectors to contact for uh, uh, doing any, any yeah, yeah, right. or in, in invitation yeah. uh, for special interviews uh, on the ground uh, regarding your projects. Yes. Yeah. Especially your product advertisement. Yeah, or yeah. your product uh, can be advertised in our uh, TNM TV online as well. Yeah. So thank you very much for uh, your watching our emission Echo News. Akunchan, but បាទចាប់សាយជូននៅព្រៃមិត្តជារៀងរាល់សប្តាហើយនៅក្នុងមកពេលដែរនេះបាទយើងនឹងនាំយកនៅព័ត៌មានសេដ្ឋកិច្